In Acts 1, 4, it says, Being assembled together with them, Jesus commanded them not to depart Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise, that's the Holy Spirit, which he said, You've heard from me, for John truly baptized with water, you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked Jesus, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It's not for you to know times or seasons which your father's put in his own authority. Waiting is not easy to do. Now, you all know me. If you know me very well, you know I don't like waiting. I love green lights. If I could invent a device that would change red lights to green lights on all the streets where I drive, I'd make me one of those babies. Yeah, I want one of those. Because I don't like to wait. But we got to wait. Because he's coming back and while we're waiting, we're not just supposed to sit there and go, when's he coming back? Come on, come on Jesus. When are you coming back? Come on, Jesus. No, we're supposed to be like those seeds. We're supposed to be going out witnessing and ministering and worshiping and caring for one another and doing all the things we're supposed to do as children of God. <laughs> and it's not easy, so I say get busy doing the things God wants you to be doing and you'll forget about the time. You won't, you won't be discouraged because you don't know when he's coming back. Will it really matter? If you're found busy doing the things that he has called you to do, being a witness, helping someone to become a disciple, caring for one another with caring ministry, fellowshipping with one another, worshiping God, being a good steward of your time and, and talents, don't you think when Jesus comes back, you're going to go, oh Jesus, just a minute, <laughs> I got one more person to witness to. What would Jesus say if that was you were busy doing all the purposes that he's given us until he comes back? Well done. well done, good and faithful friend. That's what he's going to say. Well done. So don't worry about when he's coming back. He is coming back. Just be busy about what he told us to do. And when he comes back, you'll be excited and surprised and glad. So we need God. We, you and I can't do these things without him. The Holy Spirit is the one that encourages us to stay in the race. You know, when things get difficult, <laughs> press on. Don't give up. When somebody rejects you, just press on. Don't give up. <laughs> when you feel overwhelmed, you ever get overwhelmed in life? <laughs> press on. <laughs> and when you fall, and sometimes we, f we fall, the Holy Spirit will help you to get up and to get back in the race. You keep running. Keep your eyes on Jesus and keep running and don't ever, ever, ever give up.